Hi guys, so welcome to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at 2D and 3D trigonometry. Uh, if you've looked at some of the earlier videos, we've already covered uh, compound angle identities and uh, double angle identities as well. So today we're going to be focusing on this, which is solving problems in two and three dimensions. Now what we have to take note of, and this is a uh, screenshot from your formula sheet, uh, and this here is the sine rule. That's the cosine rule, and this is the area rule. So let's just quickly run through each one of these rules. Now, these two rules, or rather these three rules, the sine rule, the cosine rule, and the area rule, are designed for us to solve for a side or an angle, or in this case, find the area of a non-right angle triangle. Remember that whenever we have a right angle triangle, we will use our trig ratios, sine, cosine, and tan to solve for a side or an angle. Now quickly running through each one of these rules, if I have a right or rather a non-right angle triangle and let's just call this triangle ABC. Now just to explain each one of these rules very very quickly to you before we start answering the question, that for me to use the sine rule, the conditions that must exist is for me to be given an angle and its opposite side and either another angle and if I'm given another angle then I can find the side opposite that angle and if I'm given this side then I can find the angle opposite that side. So one more time if I'm given an angle and its opposite side and if I'm given another angle then I can find the side opposite that angle. If I'm given the side then I can find the angle opposite that side. Now let's look at the cosine rule. Now for me to use the cosine rule, I must be given two sides and an included angle. Now let me just explain that to you very, very quickly. So if I'm given two sides and an included angle, so let's say I'm given this side AB and the side BC. So the included angle that I will be given here is the side B. So if I'm given once again, if I'm given the side AB and BC, then I can now find the side opposite my included angle. So if I want to find AC, then this included angle must be given to me B and I must be given sides AB and BC. And similarly, if I want to use the area rule, I must also be given two sides and an included angle. Now, now that that's out of the way, and once more, let me just mention that if you are going to solve for any angle or side in a right angle triangle, we must use trig ratios. So let's, let's get straight to it. So now we're going to be using uh, this question to highlight the rules that I've just uh, gone over with you. So let's look at that very, very quickly. So let's go over this question together. Now, they tell us here that in the figure below that ACP and ADP are triangles with C equals to 90 degrees, CP equals to 4 root 3, AP equals to 8, DP equals to 4, and PA bisects DPC. Let CAP equals to X and DAP equals to Y. This is very important, that's why I've underlined it. PA bisects DPC. And they've also highlighted it here for us, which means that this angle equal to that one. So CPA and DPA are equal to each other. Now the first question that we have to answer here is show by calculation that x is equal to 60 degrees. So let's look at that. Now there's x here. Now first of all the first thing that you should have noticed is that x lies in a right angle triangle and the right angle triangle is ACP. So if I look at that very carefully, I want to solve for x. Now x is my reference angle. So if that's my reference angle, it means that that is now my opposite side. Opposite the 90 degree angle is my hypotenuse. And the remaining side is my adjacent side. So if I'm using what I was taught hopefully in the earlier grades, which is Soka Toa, I'll be able to pick the trig ratio that I'm going to use to solve this particular problem. So I have 8 which is the hypotenuse 
and the opposite side which is 4 root 3 opposite and hypotenuse which means that I only have one option to choose from which is sine of an angle so sine so is for sine ka is for cos toa is for tan so therefore 5.1 solution would be as follows so the sine of x is equal to the opposite side which is 4 root 3 over 8 sine of x going to equal to 4 root 3 all over 8. Let's just double check. So sine of x is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Opposite side over the hypotenuse. 4 root 3 over 8. So therefore, if I'm solving for an angle, I use inverse trig ratio. So that'll be sine inverse of 4 root 3 over 8. Let's just put that in our calculator. So how do we get sine inverse? We press shift and sine. And that would now be 4 root 3 all over 8. And there we go. Answer is 60 degrees. So x is equal to 60 degrees. So that one is done. Calculate the length of AD. So let's go back to the diagram. They want us to calculate the length of AD. So now that we know that X is 60 degrees, always update your diagrams. So let's look at what we have now. They want us to find AD. Now the first thing that we should notice is that AD is in a non-right angle triangle. Okay. So AD is in a non-right angle triangle. And we want to find the length of AD. But what is it do we know here already from our previous question? From our previous question, x is 60, it's in a right angle triangle, that's 90. So therefore, that angle must be 30. And we are given that, that AP, basically this line here, bisects CPD. So this is also 30 degrees. So what does that leave me with? It leaves me with two sides which is 8 and 4, and an included angle, which we've just discussed earlier. So let's just clear this up a little bit so that we can see. So first of all, let's look at which triangle we are dealing with. We are dealing with this triangle here, which is a non-right angle triangle. What do we have? Let's just look at that very, very closely once more. We have 8, we have 4, and we have an included angle, which is 30 degrees. And if we go back, there we go. For the cosine rule, we need two sides and an included angle. So therefore, we would structure now our statement as follows. So we want to find AD. So it will be AD squared. It's going to equal to, let's start here, 8 squared plus 4 squared. minus 2 times 8 times 4 times cos of the angle in between those two included sides which is cos of 30 degrees and that's equal to so let's put that in the calculator so what do we have here we got 8 squared so it'll be 8 squared plus 4 squared minus 2 times 8 times 4 times cos of 30 degrees. And that's equal to 25.57. That's 25.57. Seven. Let's write that a little neater. Therefore, that's AD squared. So therefore, the square root of that would be 4.95. And we round to two decimal places, 4.96 units. Therefore, AD is 4.96 units. 
uh, just a slight omission. So I used cos of 30 degrees here. So I need to say y is APD equals 30 degrees. So once again, I'm going to say that APD is 30 degrees because PA bisects DPC. So the statement that I should have wrote first, but that's okay, I can write it now. So I'm going to say APD is equal to 30 degrees. A P D equals to 30 degrees and that is because I am given that P A by 6. P A by 6 D P C. Okay, so that statement should have come first. But that's the answer. And that's using the cosine rule. So very quickly, 5.1, that was in a right angle triangle, so we use trig ratios. 5.2, we got two sides and an included angle, so we use the cosine rule. Let's look at 5.3. Determine y. So let's look at this. So let's update our diagram very quickly. So that's AD is 4.96. And that's very, very important. Update your diagram as you go on. So AD is 4.96 units. So let's see now, how can I find y? So there's my angle y here, which I have. And what else do I have? I've got 4. dp is equal to 4, and there's it here. And what else do I have? Well, I just found ad, which is 4.96, and I've got apd, which is 30 degrees. So if you look at it very carefully, and what I've mentioned earlier, I can now use the sine rule, because this, firstly, is a non-right angle triangle, apd, and I want to find an angle. I have its opposite side. And I also have 4.96, which I just found, and its opposite side. So that's a perfect case for me to use the sine rule. So let us now structure that statement. So 5.3 is now going to be, so I will say sine of y. Over sine of y over 4 is equal to sine of 30 over 4.96 angle and its opposite side is given here sine of 30 all over 4.96 so now i can solve for y by making y the subject of my equation so now i can say that sine of y is equal to 4 times sine of 30 all over 4.96 so y is going to equal to sine inverse of whatever this is so let's put that in the calculator Therefore, let's put that in the calculator, 4 times sine of 30, sine of 30, it's basically 4 times sine of 30, we know that's half, all over 4.96, and that's equals to 25 over 62, 25 over 62. So therefore, you can now work out and say shift sine answer equals to. 23,78 degrees. So my answer there will be 23,78 degrees. 23,78 degrees. That's my solution. 28,78. degrees. Okay. So this is a nice question because we've dealt with a right angle triangle, which is Sokal Toa using our trig ratios we looked at the cosine rule and using the cosine rule we said that we need two sides and an included angle and we looked at the sine rule so we looked at basically all of the rules that we are required to use besides obviously the area rule and i would probably just take a look at that in our next video so if you haven't already subscribe to my channel jl maths and look at my website, which is jlmats.com.
www.ghanaspeaks.com. And I'll catch you in the next video.